Okay, this video is going to take you through constructing a scatter plot using Excel. Um, you've already, you should already have um, constructed a scatter plot on graph paper by hand, so this one should be pretty simple for you to follow. Okay, so once again, um, we've just got a bunch of data and tables here. I'm just taking this from the textbook example. Um, first of all, we need to make sure we identify the response variable and the explanatory variable. So the response var variable in this question is um, the height of an adult and the explanatory variable is their arm span. That arm span is from fingertip of your middle finger to fingertip of your other middle finger with your arms outstretched horizontally. So we put our explanatory variable on the X or horizontal axis and our response variable on the vertical or Y axis. We need to remember that. So you can see all this data, I've got subject arm span height, subject arm span height, and that's fine, but I need all of these 20 subjects in one column and their corresponding arms, span and height in the other. So I've just popped that into an Excel document here, you can see. So I've just transferred that data. I had to type it across, so I didn't want you to you know, have to sit there and watch me do that. Um, sometimes you can cut and paste, but at this time, point in time, um, it, it doesn't work on a PDF. So once you've got your data in, what you need to do is highlight your X and Y variables. So my arm span, my X, and my height, my Y. I've just highlighted those. Then I go up to insert, click on that. You can see over here all these different charts. Now I want this scatter plot one here. If I hover over it, insert, scatter, and that little, little black triangle there on the side, I'm just going to click that so it comes down. And I just want the one without lines at the moment. So once I click on that, I get my basic scatter plot. Now you can see already there's a problem. All the data is scrambled together in this tiny spot, and it's really difficult to actually see anything in this graph. The easiest way to fix that is to go up here, add chart element. If I go to axes, and then just go down to more axis options. Okay, because what I want is, you can see here that my data on the x-axis, the first one is at 150. The first one on the y-axis is actually sort of down here, 157. So really, nothing's happening before 150 on either of those um, scales. So I can get rid of that, and that would spread that data out a little. So if you look over here, it says axis options. The bounds, so bounds, you can see minimum 0, maximum 250. And if you look down here, minimum 0, maximum 250. Because this one is highlighted, you can see the little blue corners. That's how I know that that's what this one's talking about. So I'm going to make this. 145 and then I just hit enter. Straight away I've spread that data out across my x-axis. Then I'm just going to click over here on my y-axis. So again I'm just looking for an alignment um, axis option so you can see this graph bit here. Click down, bounds. So my minimum, again, this one's 157, so I could probably make it 150, but I'm just going to make it 145. Enter. There we go. I don't want it too far down. Okay, so now that I've done that, let's just close my formatting. I can click on this. I'm just going to make the graph a bit bigger, just so I can, you know, see it properly. Really, you know see it. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm going back up here to format. No, no, I want design. Okay, now I need to add in all my labels. So over here on add chart element, again, axis title, I want primary horizontal. And I'm just going to click that again, axis title. You can see primary horizontal is now highlighted. Now I'll go primary vertical. Now there's my two axis titles and I've got a title for the graph. So my x-axis is, I'm just going to highlight that, arm span, and that's measured in centimetres, so put that in brackets. Over here is height, and that's also measured in centimetres. Then the actual title, well, it needs to explain what the graph is about, so investigating association between 
um, hold on, adult, because they specifically say adult, adult, can't type, adult height and arm span. Oh, that says investigation. Investigating association. Okay. And that's it. So now that I have a title, um, the last thing I can do when I click on here is I can add a trend line. So if I look here about trend line, the one I want is linear. So then you can see that trend line come in with about the same number of points above and below the line so that I can look for correlation. And that's it.